So it's day one. Elephant kiss. We had a rough start. <laughs> ah, the Gulf Stream was a little bit bigger waves than we thought. So there were some 10, 12 foot rollers there. It's calmed down significantly now. As you can see, they're only like six feet or something. We can do that. Okay, two. It's calmed down significantly. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> but this is good. <laughs> and uh, we're very tired. Greg has had to rig up. I mean, I cannot believe they sell something that has to be rigged up by this, like this. This stupid contraption for this stupid hydro generator. There it is. And there are all these stupid wires. And Shit, holding it up because it's stupid. This is Saturday. We're about to finish our second 24 hours of sailing. Uh, it has been boring, which is good. We are motoring now. Um, we're not sailing, we're motoring because the wind is... Let's see here. Shitty! <laughs> Get the spinnaker up. So it is Monday, May 9th. We are motoring because we have no wind. And this is what a following sea looks like. Here's Bermuda. We got here in the morning. We are on the way. We have to go past the entirety of Bermuda to get to the customs. But that's okay, because that's closer to Europe. All the way, see? See how closer it is? It's much closer to Europe. I mean, look at this over here versus, here's the more eastern side. Over there, I mean, wow. We're, we're gonna be so much closer to Europe when we are like all the way up there. So that's good. It's a good thing there's not three of us going in here side by side. Yeah. Captain Mel sets, sets her course to sea.
get up. Marvin's main soul is people. It's, it's, it's a modern thing. Here's this part. This is always fun. You too can cross the Atlantic in style because this is so much better than putting your boat on a, another boat and flying there. I'm convincing myself that this is better. I don't think it's any cheaper by the time we have to fix everything that's broken. So, somehow this, there has to be some point to this I've just forgotten what it was. Okay, day three out of Bermuda. Got a pretty good amount of wind, about 22 knots. Kind of, uh, about 120 degrees to starboard. So about 18 to 20. Apparent. Seas are not bad. Kind of a quartering swell. It's almost a beam. Supposed to change later. Got the spinnaker up. <laughs> There's some big waves coming up behind us. And then we go down. Ah, ah. And then the autopilot. Okay. So we had the spinnaker out, all nice, and we averaged nine knots with it over the ground. So the spinnaker is down, it exploded, <laughs> so we're back to the jib in Maine, um, but it's not bad, we're still making six and a half to eight and a half knots. what these big waves look like. It is like it's never ending. <laughs> because previously it was raining, although as you can see on the radar, it has improved. There's nothing there right now. And this is what the Atlantic Ocean looks like right now. It's a little dreary. Wind's going more behind us. It always does that on my shift. 
On Greg's shift, it's always a beam. On my shift, it starts moving behind us, which makes her jib flop away because the main sucks all into its wind. It's very complicated. So I get the floppy jib. I blame Greg. We're having one of these kinds of days again. Bad wave day. We just have the jib out. We're making six knots on just the jib. <laughs> this is the cool thing that we have rigged to keep our cabinet from flying across the room. And then this guy down here gets a bungee. Scary. These waves are huge. I don't know how to estimate waves that are this high. Um, I'm probably not getting a good sense of this. Greg at the helm, helming away. like now. It's scary as hell. <laughs> the big ones aren't here right now. Yeah, the big ones aren't here. These are just the babies. The baby, the, the 12 foot ones. Yeah, so where the 12s are pushing us. To Horta. Yeah, exactly to Horta. <laughs> yes. That's good. That's nice. Right now we got 26 knots of wind. Maybe three to five meter waves. We should get some big ones that come along every once in a while. Running under just the jib. It's got one reef in it. As long as we stay down swell, it's not too bad. But we have to hand steer it most of the time. And it's a new day. <laughs> we haven't hand steered since, well, Greg said, 4 a.m. or whatever. Who knows what time it is? We haven't done our clocks right. We have still our wharf out. That is what that looks like. Here. And I'll get a better one.
Portugal. Things are a bit busy. I just had to talk to this guy so he wouldn't crash. There he is. He's very nice, he moved a lot. So that's cool. We got one big old guy, Cassie, in front of me. We got this guy who just looks like a Lego brick. He's gonna pass in front of me. Let's see. That little guy, I don't know if you can see him. He's on his way out and so is So we're having a lot of fun today in the shipping lane.